Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to do the patch removal here on my thumb. As you can see, it's held up really nicely. My break is actually down to about right here. So, I'm thinking about going ahead and just taking that one back. I'm going to take the patch off, and I'm going to show you all how I do this. Now, I like to take my Revlon Fat File. It's the Revlon Shape and Buff, and I use the pretty coarse side. And what I like to do is just kind of rub it over, just to kind of break that that top coat seal so that the nail polish remover can get down in there and start, you know, getting that patch to, to come on up. So I don't go crazy on the patching, I mean the filing. I just, you know, want to kind of bust that, bust that layer down. Now, if you... Um, you know, have trouble with acetone or the soaking method, you might want to do more filing on this and you could file, file it pretty much all the way down. The next step I'm going to use my pure acetone and I cut a, one of those makeup rounds into quarters and that's just like the perfect size for my nail. I'm going to douse it in some pure acetone just to make this go by really quick. You could try regular non-acetone nail polish remover, it just might take a little while. But I lay that over the whole entire nail, and then I take my little plastic clippy and clip it on. Now I'm going to let this sit for about 7, maybe to 10 minutes, and then I'll be right back to show you what we're going to do next. Alrighty, I am back, and I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And I do try to, like, push it down and, you know, get, take the little cotton round and, and kind of wipe it a little bit. But I'm going to use my cuticle pusher clean that off. Difficulties, I swear. So, what I do is I just take it and I start kind of scraping some of that patch off. And you can go either way. And I'm not pushing really hard, but I am applying some pressure to it. And depending on how many layers you added to this, it might take a couple of rounds of the soaking and the scraping, but for me it's worth it because the patch lasted, you know, they last so long using this method that, you know, it's worth it to me. That's just, you know, we all decide what we're willing to do and what we're not willing to put up with, so, but for me this works. And I'm just going to keep working around it scraping as much as I can off and I'm not really trying to dig in hard or anything and then my, I got a little pointy end on the other end of my cuticle pusher that I can get up close to the sidewall with get that all out of there and back here so a lot of that came off with this round um, I'm probably going to soak it again because I'd rather do the soaking than the scrubbing and the scraping. That's just my way, you know. And then I like to lay my nail kind of flat on the table so I'm not really applying much pressure to that break over on the side. So, alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and soak this again and get some more of this off. I'll be right back. Okay, I've done some soaking on this, maybe about five more minutes. I didn't set a timer, so I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just gonna wipe it again with the little cotton round. And then I'm going to go back in with my cuticle pusher and just scrape up some more of that um, acrylic and gel foundation from the Gelish that I used. And I know this might not be ideal for some people. Um, this is new for me, so um, you know, my old method of using the silk wrap works just fine. And you know, but like I said earlier, if, if I can do something once and not have to mess with it for, you know, two or three, four weeks. That's just nice. <laughs> I'd much rather be painting nails than putting on patches. So, and I'm having a little trouble with this up here by the base. It's just kind of staying really well. Just 
I did a real good clean on this one though, so maybe it's adhering quite well this time. But you just keep working it until you get it, you know, pretty much smoothed down. Get all that off of there. And it just comes, it does come off fairly easy. Um, I wouldn't say that it's, you know, like real hard to do, but it just takes a little time. Let's see if I can get under this a little bit. Yeah, that might, that might need some more soaking. That's just wild. It didn't. Last time I think I got all of it off in one soak, but I, I don't know that I did as many coats. I did two this time because it had grown out and so it was further away from the nail bed. I wanted to make sure it was secure. Oh, there we go. Got a piece of that going. But you don't want to damage your nail underneath by poking too hard. Um, trying to be very easy because I already have issues with both of my thumbnails so but there we go it's starting to let go and pop on off or scrape on off however you want to look at it now I'm not going to do a lot of digging up here close to here because that's that's soft up there at least on my nails it, it's very soft up there by the by that by that part of at the top. <clears throat> but then when I get it about where I like it, I do like to come in and I don't use the hard side anymore. I go to the shape and buff side, the, the softer file. And I just kind of give it a little rub down. And I know it looks pretty nasty right now. All covered in dust and, and everything. I'm going to take my old yucky brush and kind of dust it off and see where we're at. Well, I didn't think this was going to take a third soaking, but I'm going to because my break is down here, but I've still got quite a bit of glue built up right here. Um, so I want to I want to get all of that off, and um, so I am going to soak it one more time. I'm going to give it one more go. Oh, and another thing was last time I didn't use my pure acetone. Um, the cotton balls or the cotton pads a little more pink. I just used my regular acetone nail polish remover. So I'm going to go back to using the full strength acetone, and I will be right back. All right, here we go. Hopefully this is the final round. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people out there that have, have had really bad breaks and had to cut their nails back and you know and it's just it always just breaks your heart after getting them to grow out and then you have to you know take them back and I've done it we've all been there and um, and today I've decided not to replace this patch I'm gonna go ahead and file this one back I never ever clip my nails anymore um, I have uh, decided that filing them for me is the way to go. So, and there's my little split. We're working right over the top of that. And uh, get that patch off of there. But I figured since it's my thumbnail, I would go ahead and just, I mean, it, it, it's okay for it to be shorter than the other nails, I think. I don't think it's as noticeable. Of course, my husband has always um, wondered why I would take them all back just because I broke one. He's like, oh, just let it catch up. No, no, that's not how we do this. Um, I normally don't. I normally try to keep mine fairly even, whether they're short, long, or whatever. I try to keep them all in the same Kind of, I mean, they don't have to be exact. In fact, I'm sure they're quite never exact. I'll paint them and then realize that one's just a little longer than the other one anyway when I file them. So. But 
There we go. I think we've pretty much gotten this off of there. I do like to make sure that I've gotten it all off, especially if I'm applying a new patch on, you know, on a boo-boo, an owie, an oopsie. You know, I like to make sure I've gotten it all. So a lot of times I will run a file across it and, you know, make sure that it's as smooth as can be. And then I make sure to clean it really well um, with some alcohol or even acetone or whatever. So, but I do believe I got all of it off of there, pretty much. I do have some wonky thumbnails, so it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. I've got a divot right there, it just kind of slopes, but that's just the way it grows. So, I'll dust this one off. And I do have a little bit more to it off over here but that'll probably come off with the filing but there we go patch removal not too bad um, like I said you could go through and do your sanding or filing or sanding <laughs> your filing <laughs> and you know get get maybe any residuals off and you know I love these little files because you just go through all the steps you know step one you know evens it out and smooths it number two and then three is the buff and then the shine so I normally go through all of those steps with it and uh, then I get ready for another manicure or another patch so I hope you enjoyed this one if you have any questions please leave them for me down below and if you like this give it a thumbs up and that is all I have for today so until next time be good to yourself I'll talk to you soon bye